Hi, I'm Kaka Babit and welcome to the second lesson of this module, which is on search intent. I touched on this in the first lesson on SEO basics, but I really want to take some time to unpack what it is and how to use it in keyword research. Reason being, if you can't match searcher intent, then you probably aren't going to rank for your target keywords as well. So again, uh, search intent represents the reason behind a searcher's query. And matching search intent is one of those must-do things to show search engines that your page will fulfill their goal to deliver the most relevant results for any given query. And while it might sound like you're trying to satisfy Google, what you're actually doing is learning what you need to do to satisfy the searcher's intent. Identifying search intent is usually quite easy. All you have to do is search for the keyword you want to rank for, and then analyze the top ranking results. And the top ranking results are a great proxy to understand search intent. Because Google understands what searchers want probably more than anyone else. Now, analyzing is kind of a jargony word, but there's a simple three point formula you can use and it's called the three C's of search intent. The first C is content type. Content type can, can be usually recognized into blog posts, video posts, product pages, landing pages, and category pages. For example, the dominant type of pages for best cricket shoes are blog posts. The second C is content format. And, and this applies more to blog posts and landing pages. A few common blog formats you'll see are how-tos, step-by-step tutorials, list posts, and opinion editorials. And for a landing page, that might be something like a tool or a calculator. Again, for the query best cricket shoes, you'll see that most of the top results are listicles. And that makes sense because the word best implies that a comparison needs to be made. The third C is content angle. Content angle often depicts the benefit. It's basically your hook as to why someone would click your click and visit your page. For best cricket shoes, you'll see that every post has gone with a freshness angle. So in some of the websites, they have mentioned the current year in the title. In my opinion, this is the least important and often least consistent among top ranking pages. Now, this is just one example for search intent for a keyword. Let's go through a few more examples to really drill in this concept. The first example is for the query, how to take a free kick. Now, as you can see from this, the dominant content type is clearly blog post, but you'll also notice that a YouTube video is rank ranking ahead of the blog, blog post. So this tells us that it may be worth creating both a blog post and a video to potentially get two different spots in the search results. As for, as for the content format, there are clearly more how-tos and seeing as the nature of the topic would require a step-by-step procedure, that's probably the route you'd want to go to. And you can also confirm this by actually visiting some of the top ranking pages. Now with content angle, it appears that as uh, as this website is focusing on the scoring direct free kicks seems to be the right way to approach this topic. The second example is for the query football shoes. Now, looking at this, you'll see that they're all e-commerce category pages, which tells us that when people search for this query, they're likely in the shopping mode. Now, seeing as content format applies mostly to blog posts and landing pages, and it wouldn't be applicable applicable here since we are looking at e-commerce category pages. As far as, as far as content angle, it seems to be mostly about deals, so saving money on football shoes is the way to go. All right, the final example is for pharmacy. And looking at this, you'll see something a bit different. 
we have a mixed result in terms of content type for the top ranking page. Uh, some of these are uh, like this big pharmacy is an e-commerce category. And uh, uh, then we have a couple of university programs on pharmacy. And we also have an outlier on how to set up a pharmacy. So it becomes a little complicated in such examples when there are mixed results. Therefore, we will revisit this example in a later lesson as well. So in this lesson, we have understood what is search intent and how to analyze search intent through the three C's approach. In the next lesson, we are going to focus on how to find the relevant keywords.